Oh, what a stunner in Boston tonight. Game seven. Winner take all between the Panthers and Bruins. Empty net for Florida. Down a goal. Minute to go. Brandon Montour one time off the deflection to beat Jeremy Swayman, who got the start for the first time all series in this game. Panthers tied at three. It goes to OT. 12 minutes to go behind the net. Carter Verhage, the wrister, puts it away. And the Panthers eliminate the Boston Bruins. A regular season which saw the Bruins set records for wins and points. The number one seed, the large favorites to win the Stanley Cup, and they are knocked off in the first round. Down 3-1, the Panthers win games 5, 6, and 7 in Boston with one of the stunning upsets in the history of the sport. Paul Maurice now, Panthers coach on the Game 7 win. I don't think they fully appreciate, maybe we don't, uh, the challenges of, of beating a team like that in a, in a seven game. Anybody can win a game, which was part of it, right? You get it to one game. Can we get it to one game? But seven games and come out ahead, it'll sink in over time. I, I truly think, actually, you won't think much about it. Start on Toronto video tomorrow, we'll get to work, and then... Some years go by, and you look back at it and say, that was pretty special. And just like you said, road's just beginning, still a lot of big games ahead. But you talked about playoff hockey and trying to get to a style all season long. Right. When you look at this series, you look at tonight's game, is, is that what you kind of envisioned? I mean, I, I don't think you can find a harder team to play against than the Boston Bruins. They're just that good. There isn't a weakness in their game. So they will test you in all parts, right? Their power play is just, just so dynamic. Um, so it's a proving ground that you get to keep, certainly for our next game, which is most important. But you get to keep that for a while. The, the players here now have a shared experience of what hard is. And we'll cut that video and we'll keep that video and we'll use it at training camp. And, and uh, it'll make us better for five years. That's yeah. how hard it was. Really difficult. Obviously, you, it's not um, you know the outcome you want, and extremely disappointing, uh, especially with the the team that we had. Obviously, it's uh, you know it's not where we want to be. What were your emotions at the end of this one? Yeah, I mean it's it hurts. You know, it's that's what it is. You know, you you compete hard and you battle all year for. Um, for that, so it's it's hard. It's we, take, we take some time now. We'll, we'll, we'll mm have -hmm. this work out for you. Yeah, yeah. I gotta take some time and <clears throat> talk with the family and go from there. You know, it's well, you know, it's it's too, it's too uh, you know. Right now, it's you know, it's hard to process anything. Right? It's you know, obviously we're 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 shocked and disappointed, disappointed, and so that's it. Is there any part of you that says, I don't want it to end this way because of what happened? Again, you know, it, it hurts right now. So it's, it's you know, I, I'm going to have to step back and and, and get some talk with, uh, with my family. He said he hopes he's back next season. He's Brad Marchand talking about the Boston Bruins grade. Uh, yeah, it's emotional. You just, you know. I don't know about those guys' future. Um, you know, um, so it, it's tough. You know, we were hoping to make a good long run here all together, and um, you know, it's tough for everybody. Can I just comment on Patrice at the end of the game, greeting everybody as they exited, saluting fans. Yeah, um, you know, he's. Uh, He's obviously just a world-class leader and person, and, um, you know, I think with the season we had, he wanted to, you know, give another thanks, so, um, and, and given the situation, it shows the character. A lot of emotion there out of Brad Marchand, and you heard him use the term was a world-class leader. Read into that what you will. 
Bergeron signed a one-year deal before the season, hoping to bring the Bruins a Stanley Cup for the first time since 2011. If it is the end of Bergeron's career, he will go down as one of the best in the history of that organization. Ranks top five in games played, goals, assists, and points. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.